Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is Waji Ahmed with the registration number F is 17 BCS 026, and you are watching Dictatorship versus Democracy. In this, today's discussion, we will be discussing the terms dictatorship, democracy, what form of governments are these, how they have their impact over the history of Pakistan. So, starting from understanding the terms democracy and dictatorship what are the terms what form of government are these so what is democracy democracy is a form of government that is by the people for the people so it clearly states that the people are given the choice to vote for their representative to serve them for the period of five years it is the same procedure of election of holding elections and the people vote for their representative and a government is formed. And the second form of government is a dictatorship. It is a form of government characterized by a single leader or group of leaders and little or no toleration for political pluralism or independent program or media. So this dictatorship government is kind of government that is real tough and why it is tough that a single person is controlling the whole country irrespective of people's choice and people's rights so pakistan has been unfortunate for having the earlier errors of his history under dictators and among them the first dictator that ruled over pakistan was journal ayub khan from the period of 1958 to 69. This dictatorship era was for about 11 years. Following him then was General Muhammad Yahya Khan, right after him in 1969 to 1971. However, after 1971, there was a democratic government in Pakistan. And then that democratic government was being toppled over by General Muhammad Ziaul Haq in 1977 and he ruled over Pakistan till 1988. Later on in the year 1999, General Pervez Musharraf took over Pakistan and he ruled over Pakistan till 2008. Pakistan has an unfortunate history of having long eras of dictatorship and it is one of the major cause of Pakistan's not able to be developed as compared to the countries that have gained independence in the same time of 1947 as we have because in a democratic government there are more chances and there are more possibilities that the country will develop as the investor from all over the world and from within the country invest in different fields in, a, in development of a country. Similarly, as the people are happy, they are, they are in a wish to develop the country, pay taxes and also try their level best in order to uplift their country. Discussing the dictators of Pakistan, now it is time to discuss the, some of the democratic parties of Pakistan. Some of the renowned democratic parties of Pakistan include Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf PTI, Pakistan Muslim League Noon PMLN, Pakistan's People's Party PPP. As I have mentioned earlier, and by my own perspective, Democracy is better for a country as it is a major pathway in the development of a country. So what are the pros of democracy? Democracy has a lot of advantages and among them I have mentioned a few of them. First of all, it improves the quality of decision making as this whole process of democracy is being done through the people's decision. The people are given the choice to choose their representative, choose the people that they want in order to make their country develop fast 
and well. Secondly, it is better as nothing is permanent, for example there is no winner or loser. A person is given a chance to help out the country in order to develop itself for a period of 5 years. But there is no limitation of this government to be ruling for more than 5 years. Because after 5 years there is again going to be a new decision making. The people are given the choice in order to preview the development made by the previous government. Either they want the same government or they want to change the people. Thirdly, it is continuously an improving process. As the earlier discussion clearly narrates that we are developing toward a better country. We are moving forward toward improvement. So mentioning underneath are the democratic eras of Pakistan. The first democratic era in Pakistan was in the year 1988. When Pakistan's People's Party won the election, a former government in Pakistan. This government ruled for like two years from 1988 to 1990. Later on, another democratic party, Pakistan Muslim League Noon, that is held by General Nawaz Sharif, took over Pakistan by winning the election in the year 1990 and it ruled over Pakistan for the years from 1990 to 1993. Later on, Benazir Bhutto, leading People's Party, won the election of 1993. To 1996, the government was made by Pakistan People's Party. Later on, Pakistan Muslim League known from the year 1997 to 1999 this government was ruled by Nawaz Sharif that was representing Pakistan Muslim League Noon. And after that, General Pervez Musharraf in the year 1999 took over Pakistan. And Pakistan got under dictatorship until 2008. In the year 2008, democracy was revived in Pakistan as the fifth democratic government in Pakistan was formed by People's Party in the year 2008 and it ruled over Pakistan till 2003, 2013. Later on, in the year 2013, under the next election, Pakistan Muslim League Noon again took over Pakistan and it ruled from the year 2013 to 2018. It was an era of five years. And in the election of 2018, a new party, Pakistan Tehrike Insaf, that has been has not been in the race of democratic parties competing against each other in running the country, the, took the plea over, and Pakistan Tehrike Insaf formed its government in the year 2018, and Pakistan is under the government of Pakistan Tehrike Insaf till today. So this was Waji Ahmed showing what are the dictatorship and the democracy and how they have their impacts over the history of Pakistan. Pakistan, Zindabad. Thanks so much.